Have you ever wanted to be able to customize your Steam layout to look basically however you want and not been happy with any of the available themes? If you wanted different colors on your friends list and your main Steam tab or to have your own icon in the top corner? Well now you can. Just head on over to steamcustomizer.com. This is a beta product. I put, will put the link in the description. It's absolutely free. And when you pull up the website, all you have to do is choose what colors you want your UI to be. You have the entire spectrum of colors that the internet can generate. So you can have a light blue, and then you can make your chat color black or a light gray, something to go with it. And then you can change what color things are when you hover over them. Make that a light green, why not? And that shows it at the bottom there. And it all gives you a live preview. So you can customize your UI colors, your hover colors, things that are like currently selected, like here it has Portal 2 currently selected. You can choose whether or not it shows your Steam wallet balance, whether or not it shows the menu bar up here in the top corner, and then you can choose an overlay. You have the Steam icon, which is kind of the default. You of course have the God Gaben, <laughs> PC Master Race Dude, Black Mesa logo, Aperture Science logo, a pony, Star Trek, Dragon, Umbrella, Shield. Shield's the one that I use for Agents of Shield down here. And then you can choose a texture, which is the little shapes right here. The default is just kind of like stripes, but you can have none at all. You can do a gradient style where it just kind of gradients down, although it gradients from black to your color. But that still looks kind of cool having that separate like that. You can have Umbrella, even have a brushed metal one, which looks all right. But my favorite is the Metro one, which just has all these little squares, and that's the one I prefer. And then when you're done, click Generate Style, click Download Style, download the dot .styles folder just to your Downloads folder, and then you will want to download the WP7 Steam theme. You have to use that, it's basically a modified version of that, so you have to download that into your Steam folder to use it. So when you click Don't Have a WP7 folder, it'll ask if you want to download it, hit OK, and it's going to download that. Now this is the main thing that we want to use here. So go ahead and open up your download location. Drag it onto the window here. We have, where is it at? WP7.zip. Open that up in your favorite compression archive software. And then head on over to your Steam program files. Mine is under D games Steam. And then you're going to want to put it in skins slash WP7. So you got to go to your skins folder and then make sure you have a WP7 folder. If you don't, of course, extract it from the zip. Just drag it in there and it will copy the files for you. And then open up that WP7 folder and move that mod.styles file that you downloaded right here to that folder. Once that file is copied into the Steam folder, go ahead and hit exit Steam. Reopen Steam, let it connect and reopen. And yes, even though it's gonna restart again, you do have to relaunch it. So it can detect that the theme is there. Open up your Steam settings, go to interface, choose where it says select the skin you wish Steam to use, choose WP7, click OK, click restart Steam. Again, allow it to reconnect and reopen. And there you go, it's there. Thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. Send me screenshots of your theme. And I will see you next time.